Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rocha HaKodash. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name in ancient Hebrew, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten Son, the Savior and Redeemer of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, who I learned the truth of the gospel of Yahweh Shai from through the Holy Spirit. Honors to you, brothers, that are pushing the gospel of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai in all sincerity, diligence, and truth. And peace and grace and blessings be upon the house of David, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. Um, I just wanted to touch on this uh, quick clip I seen uh, coming from CBS Morning, you know, speaking about the uh, the baby formula uh, supply shortage, which, you know, brothers and you know watchmen have, um, you know, brought out through the spirit. OK, and um, how this is, uh, you know going to cause a lot of, uh, you know, chaos, pandemonium, um, you know, which was foretold in the scriptures, you know, of these last days, all right, of, of, of the of the beginning of sorrows that Yahweh Shai said, you know, was going to come upon the earth. And, um, you know, as we're seeing, you know, the supply chain, uh, uh, you know, continue to be broken, the city of confusion being broken. We're now seeing the, uh, the, uh, uh, the effects of that, you know, by way of uh, these these uh, parents, all right, uh, these mothers, okay, you know, uh, guardians of of children, you know, that are in the stage of infancy, all right, in the in the in the, in the time or the age of a uh, given suck, they are they are as it says here, parents are worried about the baby formula supply shortage, you know. So I want to play the clip and then you know just listen to, you know, this this uh, woman, all right, looks to be a, an Edomite woman, okay, which. You know, as the scripture says, <laughs> that this uh this uh wrath is touching a whole multitude, of, you know, thereof. All right, you know, the the Lord is bringing is visiting the earth. All right, and we also know that uh, Israel, okay, Jacob, is already in the worst, you know, uh, scenario. Okay, by way of you know uh, whether it be economic or whether it be you know their living situation. Okay. Um, you know, whether it be their uh, uh, lack of a uh, family structure. So when all of these things, you know, starts to compound and all of these different, um, you know, uh, uh, issues happen, it hurts Israelites and it affects Israelites, you know, even more. OK, but nonetheless, we're seeing that the Lord is, is bringing judgment OK, upon his place. And like I said, you know, as the scripture says, all these are the beginning of sorrows. So let's listen to what, um, you know, what, what, what this uh, video says. The FDA says it is working on solutions to end this country's worsening shortage of baby formula as parents scramble to get supplies. The out-of-stock average for baby formula nationwide jumped to 43% just last week. Now, in November, that number was only 11%. Big difference there. We are now seeing empty store shelves and months-long wait for the products that your babies need. Janet Shamlin spoke to a family struggling to deal with the shortages. Come For Taylor and Kenny Miller, every drop of formula counts. The Katy, Texas couple is rationing it for their four-month-old daughter, Magnolia. How many stores have you had to go to to find the formula you need? I lost count. You lost count? Yes. That many? Yes, that many. We'll literally waste a whole tank of gas in a day trying to find formula and maybe only find one can. The couple has just over four cans left, a two-week supply. How much of a stressor is this for you? It's very stressful. I mean, the other day I actually found formula and I bought all the cans and I feel like a bad person, but my kid's got to survive. You hear that? <laughs> That's the mindset that people are getting into, all right? And, you know, this is only just about baby formula. OK, this is only one, you know, uh, area of difficulty that uh, these people are about to face. OK, because, you know, not everybody has children. So, you know, the ones people who don't have children, you know, this is not something that affects them. OK, but however, what we're seeing, you know, uh, and me and you know, brother, you know, talk about it often that, you know, a lot of uh, people, especially that we know, you know, I grew up with or went to school with or whatever, are um are it's having children, all right? Are 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 you know becoming parents, but yet they're not their mind, 
they're not thinking of this this situation right now. They're not thinking about this baby formula shortage because women, uh, uh, let's be real, majority of women don't breastfeed, all right? And even if they did, they don't, you know, take care of their bodies or, uh, you know, give the proper nutrients to their bodies to where they are able to breastfeed, okay? Because the scriptures tells you that, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, the, the, the earth is weaker. So the people, you know, that come from the earth and they're naturally going to be, you know, uh, weaker and of a lesser stature. All right. But regardless of that, you hear what she said. She said that she found, uh, uh, cans the other day. Let me run it back. Actually found formula and I bought all the cans and I feel like a bad person, but my kids got to survive. You see? So her kids got to survive. So she put, she bought all of the cans and didn't give a damn about, you know, other parents, <laughs> other children, other kids, babies that need to eat as well. And this is ultimately going to lead into, you know, food rationings. Because like I said, it's not going to be just baby formula. It's starting with baby formula, but it's going to be other essential goods, foods that are, are necessary for uh, uh, people to have in general. OK, um, let me get this here. In second Ezra, the 15th chapter, I thought I had it pulled up. Uh, second Ezra, chapter 15, verse um, 18, it says, for because of their pride, the cities shall be destroyed. The houses shall so like the, the cities shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. All right. And that right there is 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 a prime example of individuals, people, all right, here in America having no pity. Now, this woman didn't even have pity. It's not even just a neighbor as like as if it's like a grown, you know, adult. She had no pity upon the 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 other infants and children that also are in need of, you know, a uh, 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 baby food. So how much more when there's a mass a uh, famine, all right, or mass shortage of food, water, okay, uh, uh, bread, meat, milk, rice, wheat, etc. All of these things. It says a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of lack of bread and for great tribulation. And they show you that in these apocalyptic uh, movies all the time, where people, you know, because at, at a certain point. Think about it. They said back in November it was 11% shortage and now it's 43% shortage. So from November, that's about uh, seven months or six months uh, of, of removed. It went up, uh, what, 30%? So let's say in another six months, it goes up 30%. That's 70, almost 75% uh, of, of the baby formula will be gone. Okay? What do you think people are going to do when... The, the 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 stores in a 50 mile 60 mile radius uh, uh, has no baby formula in it they're going to resort to running up in people's houses because as she just said my baby has to eat so if she was so she was uh, um, selfish enough or desperate enough to buy no know that she spent all of her gas <laughs> a full tank of gas looking for food uh, baby formula food they couldn't find it and then she finally found it and then she bought it all up if she was desperate enough to do that without thinking about anybody else what happens when she can't find it what happens when there there are no more uh, 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 um, baby formula um, with, within the stores that she goes to now you get into a mode of a mindset of well maybe they have it maybe I can go and, and see if they got children, uh, see somebody with a baby, okay? They look like, well, I don't even know if they look like they got it or not, but guess what? I have to try to find out if they have it. I got to try to find out if they're, they, they came across something, right? And then that's when people are going to be what? Running up in people's houses and destroying their houses because of uh, and spoiling their goods, all right? Their goods... It's not talking about they're taking their, their Gucci sneakers, you know, their, their Gucci belt, right? The goods that people are going to be spoiling are 
essential goods, things that are necessary in order for them to survive and for in order for their family, their children to survive. And it says why? Because of lack of bread and for great tribulation. The word tribulation means uh, pressure, okay, or oppressing. All right, and, and 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 ultimately, this devil, he's orchestrating all of this because they want a society where people are uh, uh, are reliant on, you know, the government. All right, through food rationings, through uh, uh, the you know universal universal basic income, okay, trusting in the shadow of Egypt, and a lot of people. Because they don't have the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, they're going to resort to uh, to do that. They're going to resort into taking, you know, uh, uh, trusting in in Egypt. All right, let's get that real quick. Um, Isaiah the thirtieth chapter. All right, it says, "Woe unto the rebellious children," saith the Lord. That take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin unto sin, add sin to sin. They walk to go down into Egypt. They have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. They trust in the shadow of Egypt. All right. Esau is creating this problem, seeing how the people are reacting and then coming with the solution of rationings and, and, and ultimately that karagma. OK, remember, what does a World Health Organization, not World Health Organization, the World Economic Forum said you own nothing and be happy. If you own nothing and be happy, well, where are you going to get everything that you need? <laughs> You're going to get it by them giving it to you, by them rationing it to you. And it's already and we're going to go back to the video. They're already rationing baby formula in a lot of places. Reading on, it says, um. It says that that walk, that walk, so like it, I read that part. Let me read it again if I didn't. That walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore, the strength of Pharaoh shall be your shame in the trust in, in the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. All right. And a lot of people are already in a confused state. All right. A lot of people are already in a point of a, 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 on a breaking point. But yet, like I said, you got a lot of people that are also <laughs> uh, um, getting, you know, getting uh, uh, pregnant, having children. And they're not in their minds. And that's uh, and I said this before. It's because they have this normalcy bias, man. They think that they're in a in a good case. <laughs> they think that they're in a good case. But really, that's a snare and a trap that the Heavenly Father, Bashem Yahweh Shai, is setting up on all these people who have not uh, uh, asked at his mouth. All right. All of and I'm speaking about Israelites in particular. Right. That have uh, have, uh, 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 you know, shrugged their shoulder at the at the council of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and have walked in, in their own uh, vain opinions and their own uh, wickedness. So now you're about to see the reap the reap the fruit of that because the scripture tells you that, uh, um, you know, uh, um, what shall you do when the Lord shall visit you? OK. But this is Luke 23, verse 29. It says, for, for behold, Salakia, verse 28. But Yahweh Shai turning unto them and said, daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For behold, the days are coming in the which they shall say, blessed are the barren in the wombs that never bear in the paps, which never gave suck. Okay. That's the times that we're coming in where people are going to say that it's better, it's best, <laughs> all right, if you're blessed if you have never gave suck, if you don't have children. And why is that? Because having children in a time where there's a shortage <laughs> of food, you're going to see your child wither away, man. You're going to see your child starve to death. And before that happens, you might do something you know, that gets yourself in a position that gets you killed. So now you might not see your child get put, uh, uh, get starved to death, but you don't see them hungry. And then you go and make a, a and make a rash decision because you're desperate. And then now your child is, uh, you're dead and your child is, 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 is slowly dying from starvation, man. 
These are the things that's coming upon this earth. These are the evils that the Lord uh, is bringing upon this place, man. All right, to the wicked. So let's go back here. It's a nationwide problem. In at least five states, more than 50% of sellers are out of stock. 50%. 25 states in D.C. are between 40 and 50% empty, up from seven states just a few weeks ago. There's family in Louisiana. Um, I had some friends in Georgia and Tennessee look. We have family in Delaware, literally coast to coast, and nobody has found anything. With empty shelves becoming the norm, sellers are limiting purchases to help stabilize inventory. A February recall by manufacturer Abbott Laboratories contributed to the national shortage, but experts say supply chain issues also played a role. Now, the average cost of the most popular baby formula products is up as much as 18% over the last 12 months. Our biggest fear is that parents dilute the formula, and this is a big no-no. Dr. Diane Hess is a pediatrician at New York City's Gramercy Hospital. She and the FDA are warning parents against making formula themselves. That's how babies end up having seizures or dying or becoming malnourished because most of those uh, recipes are outdated and they could be dangerous and they're not scientifically based. A crisis parents hope ends quickly. For CBS Mornings, Janet Shamlian, Houston. And it's not going to end quickly. All right. Once again, all these are the beginning of sorrows, man. All right. Let's finish it out. So you can tell firsthand. Yeah, it's what's terrifying. You know, I, yeah. we are not we are not wasting a drop now. I used to mm. uh, Eloise takes four ounces at night. And I used to put five in the bottle in case she was hungry. No yeah. more. Like we mm. are we are in conservation mode at this point because we know there's no more if we run out. It has to be scary for new parents. Yeah, yeah. And people say, oh, mother's milk is free, but you know some women can't breastfeed. That's Other right. women are going back to work and they have jobs because they got to make money to pay for everything else. Right. It, doesn't, it doesn't suit them. And the point. milk doesn't always flow either. And that's mm. true. As a nursing mom, yeah. it doesn't. It's not as easy as you may think it it's is. A big big problem in this country. One of many. A big, FDA big problem it is in this country, on one of many. You see that? <laughs> that is that is what time we're in, man. Okay? One of many. Many great... Uh, uh, oh, let me get that. Many great miseries. All right? Many great miseries is, is, is hitting this place and is rightfully justified, man. All right? Um... Um, second Ezra 8 verse 50 for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. All right. And these people have, have been walking in great pride, man. All right. In, in pride and in proud in the things that you should be ashamed of. All right. It's not like they're proud of, uh, you know, uh, good things. They're proud of things that are wicked, even though pride isn't meant for man reg regardless. But you got people that are prideful in wickedness. So this is the this is the 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 the, the reward of that man. Okay, so you know I just want to bring this out. Hey, hey we, as we get closer and closer, man, uh, expect to see more death, devastation. All right, people uh, uh, doing uh, uh, things that they never thought they would do. All right, uh, um, resorting to violence. Resorting to theft, stealing, all these things, man. Isaiah 19, verse 2. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother, and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. Okay, and what would cause somebody to fight their neighbor? Okay, it's not it's not no uh uh hey you you, you uh uh your dog shitted on my lawn, right? It's not that. All right, it's gonna be a dog eat dog world. As that woman just said, I, I, my children got to eat. Everybody's going to get into that selfish. I mean, people are already selfish, but they're going to get into that survival selfish mode where they'll be willing to do anything. All right. And everything in order for them to come out on top. All right. So hey, with that, Lord willing, this was edifying unto the elect. Till next time. Shalom.